The first thing I think of when I think about kids' food is chicken nuggets. It also happens to be the last thing I'd order ever at a restaurant. That is unless I'm here at Split Rail in West Town, who are taking the chicken nugget and turning it into gold. Zoe, Brady on our app told us that this is a place to come for great cocktails. But, <laughs> but right now our theme for this episode is Kid at Heart. So tell us a little bit about Split Rail, first of all, about what you guys do here and what you're known for. So it really is about that kid at heart feeling across the board, trying to recreate classic dishes that you had as a child, get the nostalgia, but maybe make them taste a little better, look a little better. Chicken nuggets are just one of the ones that we do that are sort of things you've tasted before, but maybe never quite like this. The chicken nuggets here, you can tell they're large, they're fresher. The bourbon, the whiskey flavor, the sweet honey mustard. Crispy, crunchy, flavorful. Yeah, real <laughs> chicken. <laughs> Why did you decide to put chicken nuggets on the menu? When you think about kid-inspired, like kids just like to eat food that tastes good and is fun to eat. So I think that's just really the idea, is using great quality chicken. There's a little bit of booze in there as well. Uh, and just sort of growing it up a little bit. Grown up or otherwise, I'm always hungry. Let's cook. You ready to go? I'm always ready to go. You ready go. to get messy? Okay. All right, you're gonna start with this boneless, skinless chicken thighs. These are egg whites and the salt. Okay. Dump her on in there. Oh, well. We pulse our chicken mixture, minus a bit of salt. Okay, okay, okay. I think you're good to stop. 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 I'm sorry, someone's having fun. And it's time to turn this after-school snack into a happy hour treat. Okay, so we're gonna put actually everything else in there now. Okay. All this other stuff, and that's where these little spatulas come in handy. Oh. Kind of help you scrape everything in there. I thought these were gonna be instead of arms. Great, this is great. This is good stuff. Should I help now? Because you've got Maybe. tiny little arms. No, I'm like a superhero though. You're an <laughs> idiot. So this is just shallots that we minced up earlier. And this is chili fresno and jalapenos. They're all just gonna go in there. Okay. Give it a little heat. Next up, we've got garlic. And the last thing to make it a little more grown up, we've got some whiskey there. Whiskey! A bit more pulsing, and it's time for Zoe to drop our nugs in the fryer. Tell me about your love for chicken nuggets. Started when I was uh, probably five or six years old. I have a long relationship with chicken nuggets. Let's, let's, let's work through this. Frozen chicken nuggets, Tyson chicken nuggets. My first relationship with chicken nuggets would have been McDonald's. 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 Now tell me the difference between those memories and the chicken nuggets that you get here at Split Row. Did they destroy those uh, things you used I to love? I would never eat them again. <laughs> the cool thing about chicken nuggets is they're having a comeback. So they're not just for kids anymore. So I thought we established that I am a child at heart. I refuse to use a plate. I'm excited about diving into these. Get in there. You should go first. No, you should go okay, first. Okay, then I'll go first. <laughs> Cheers. How'd you do? The first time I discovered that Darth Vader was Luke's dad. No! That kind of jaw-dropping moment you've just done to every chicken nugget I ever ate because they were all a lie. <laughs> every chicken nugget should taste like that. We need to make sure people don't cry, come here and stomp their feet and cry like children because these are only served at brunch and happy hour, right? That's right. And you do high chairs at those times as well? For you, yes. There we go. 